Hello, hello. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, good Celia. Evening. Hello, Carol. How are you, girls? Fine. Fine. Very hello. good. Very good. How was your day? Um. No. Uh huh. Mm. What do you do? It's a great. Today. Okay, <laughs> why? What do you do? Because I I work <laughs> and I eat much. <laughs> you ate much? You, I ate much, yes. Okay. All right, very good. Good for you, good for you. How about you, Carol? What do you do? I... I go in. go to work. Go. You went to work? Uh huh. Went. Yes, went to work. Um, in the end, in the tarde. In the afternoon. In the afternoon. Today I'm descansando. No sé cómo se dice. Rest. So you Rest. rested. Rest, yes. Ah, cool, good. So it was like, like yes. a quiet day, a little bit relaxing. Yes. Okay, hey, cool. All right, I'm glad you had a good day, girls. How about you, everyone? Welcome to the class. How are you? Uh-huh, who else is there? Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello, Edwin. How are you today? I'm fine. <laughs> How was your day? Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, let me think. Tyrant. <laughs> really? A lot of yeah. work. Uh, I, I don't know. Eh, no sé cómo expresar esta idea he andado con ardor de ojos todo el día <risas> ok, burning eyes if you want to say ardor de ojos burning eyes ah, so okay. in this case you can say during the day I had or I felt burning eyes ah, ok so do you wear glasses? yes yes Ah, okay. <laughs> mm, well, I hope your eyes get better soon. <laughs> Thank you. Very good. Uh, hi, everyone. Who else? Who else? How are you today? Hi, Miss. Hello, Henry. How do you feel? I'm fine. And you? So far, so good. How was your day? Uh, tedious work. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of work, huh? Yes. Oh my gosh. All right. But everyone, it's Wednesday. So we are in the middle of the week. So relax. Yeah. It's almost Friday. Yeah. Hello, Atilio. How are you? Hello. I'm fine. Very good. Welcome to the class. Thank you. And let's see. Ah, I can see Tony. Hello, Tony. How are you? Fine, teacher. Very, very fine. Very good. Welcome. Welcome to the class. Thanks. All right, everybody. Welcome to the class. Thank you so much for being on time. Thank you, the ones who has the camera on. The rest of you, come on. I would like to see you. So remember that Friday, this coming Friday, if everything goes well, that will be the last day. So be careful with the attendance. Okay, and be careful with the platform. I can see some of you already finished, so nice job. And some of you already finished um, the exam, so excellent job, but there are some others who haven't finished yet, so please keep working on it. I'm going to show you how the platform is going, so you can see your score so far. Let me share it. Okay, can you see the platform? 
Yes. Yes. Yes, Miss. Okay. Yes, Miss. So, check your grades. The idea is that everything has to be done. So, basically, homework number four is the unit that you are finishing, right? And the final exam. Okay. So these are your scores so far. I mean, some people have a very good score already finished. Some people basically just need to finish the exam and that's it. All right, look. And remember everyone, the idea is the total, like is the last column, the total you got, you need to have at least 80% because that's the minimum score on the platform. If you don't have 80, so try to check your exams or your exercises in order to improve your grades. For the ones who have more than 80, I mean, perfect, right? Um, So I can see so far so good. Most of you already finished uh, the week number four. Most of you only need uh, to finish basically the exam, okay? So that sits the platform. So far so good, everyone. So please, for the one who haven't finished, you have to continue working on it. If you have questions or issues with the platform, you can also tell me, guys. Some of you are, uh, ask me about an exercise, so I always try to help. So if you have questions, please tell me or send a screenshot on the group and everybody can help you. Okay, but please keep working on it. Now, do you remember the topic that we studied yesterday? Uh-huh. Use the question. Very good. So we studied the information questions or the double H questions always in simple past. So we will continue practicing everybody a simple past. Of course, we are going to include new verbs, all right? And a little bit new structure. And the idea is that you practice a lot. I want you to feel expert talking in simple past. Okay, that's the purpose for the last week. Now, let me share with you the presentation. Can everybody see the presentation? Yes. Excellent. Yes, teacher. Very good. So today is February 22nd. Imagine everybody, February is about to finish. Wow. When is your birthday, everyone? Is anyone from February? No? Okay. My my birthday is in April, very. In April, all right. Who else? What about in March? Is anyone from March? No, nobody? Okay, so no birthday parties. <laughs> Let's see. We are in the week number four, unit number four, always talking about simple past, okay? We are going to continue talking about how we can use the verbs in the past. And the purpose for this class, I need a volunteer, please, for reading the class objective. Uh, class objective. Pardon. Do it, do it. Okay, participant will be able to describe past events using two birds using two. All right, thank you, Atilio. So that is exactly what I wanted to you to describe always talking in past. But today we're going to focus on the verb used to. This is a very common verb and maybe you already started this so it will be like full practice for that but let's have a quick review about the double h questions in simple past all right remember if you want to ask double h questions or like information questions you need the double h word auxiliary subject 
and the complement. What happens with the verb? Do I need the verb in the past? Yes or no? No, no. teacher. No, no, right? Why? Because this is the auxiliary. Very it's good. Necessary. Correct. Excellent job. So remember the rule. If you have auxiliary, the verb, no more changes in the base form. Okay? That's a rule that you have to remember. Now, let's see if you remember the topic. I have some questions. I want you to create these questions using the double H words. For example, well, let me open up the exercise so you can see it bigger. So for example, this phrase says, where you go to school. I need to create the questions in simple past. What do I need first? Where. Okay, where, and then? Did you go to the school. Where did you go to school? Very good, very good. Now, I will be asking individually, it's so let's see. Hmm. I will ask to Atilio. Atilio, can you tell me what is the question in the number two? Uh huh. Atilio. Uh huh. When she? Uh huh. When she? Remember the structure. Remember the structure. The paint house. The. Okay, paint the house. Hmm, is that correct, everyone? Is missing something. Uh huh. What when is it? Did, when did. Ah, so Atilio, be careful. When, if you want to did. ask, remember, I need uh, the auxiliary. When did she paint the house? Uh, uh, okay. Auxiliary. El auxiliary, yes, that's the one. So be careful, please. Okay, the next one, Jose Ezequiel, number three. Okay. <clears throat> Why did she eat so many cookies? Very good. So if you see everyone, it's very simple to create these questions. Structure, double H word auxiliary, a subject, and don't forget that the verb is in the base form, okay? I cannot use the verb in simple past. Um, Karen Rocio, what is the question in the number four? What did they do last week? Very good, excellent. Look, the same structure, super, super good. Okay, uh, Carla, what is the question number five? Um, who do you meet at the concert? Very good, that's it. You see everyone, simple. So just remember, Double H word, auxiliary, subject, the verb in the base form, and the complement. Is it clear, everyone? Any questions so far? No, teacher. No? Okay. Well, if you don't have questions, let's continue with this. Now, I have these questions. For example, well, I have the, uh, the sentence in affirmative. But I wanted to create a question about the underlined word. If I say, for example, we went to the art museum, that is the answer. So what will be the question? Hmm. 
What did you where? do? The last one did where you do? Is... Okay, we have different options. For example, your classmate said, what did? You go the last weekend. Okay, what did you go last weekend? What do you think, everyone? Where did you go last ah. night? Okay, look, if I use the verb go, the best um, double-edged word will be where, right? Where did you go last weekend? And the answer is art museum. So because we are talking about place. Very good. How about in the number two? My sister saw her friends. What could be the question here? Mm -hmm. What did you, what did your sister do yesterday at night? What did your sister do? Hmm, okay, everybody. Yesterday at night. Okay, yesterday night. What do you think, everyone? Do you agree? What did your sister do yesterday night? Ah, my sister saw her friends. Does it make sense? Who did your sister see in the party? At the ah, party? who did your sister see at the party? Yes. Okay. So what do you think, everyone? It makes sense? Actually, if you see, the answer is about people, right? It's talking about her friends. So when we ask about people, the best option is who. However, if I ask you, what did your sister do? Ah, my sister saw her friends. Actually, does it make sense too? Sounds good. Okay, let's continue. I bought a new bag yesterday. Teacher? Yes? And the first uh, question in the second, uh, uh, my sister saw her friends uh, mm -hmm. uh, at the final part, no lleva un, una preposition at, no. Which ones? Uh, yesterday oh, at my night. my sister. Oh, in this so, case, like yesterday at night, that's uh -huh. what you mean? Yeah. Actually, it's correct. You can put it the, uh, the preposition at or not. This is, for example, everyone, when you say um, ayer en la mañana, you have two options. You can say yesterday in the morning or only yesterday morning. So... If you want, you can add the prepositions in the or just yesterday morning. It's the same, for example, yesterday afternoon, right? Or yesterday in the afternoon. The same, yesterday night or yesterday at night, okay? It's the same, you can say today in the morning, but the most common when we are just referring to yesterday morning, this one is like the most common yesterday night. Even when you say the days, for example, you can say Friday, Friday in the morning, or you can say Friday morning. You can include the days, for example, I don't know if you have heard this phrase, Saturday night. Or you can say Saturday at night. So both ways are possible. Okay, teacher, thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Okay, let's continue with the next question. I bought a new bag yesterday. What did you buy yesterday? All right, very good. 
So what did you buy yesterday? Ah, I bought a new bag. Very good. And the last one, my teacher ate a sandwich last night. Uh -huh. What did your teacher eat last night? Eat. Ah, eat. Sorry, sorry, eat this. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Be careful. So, if you see, this is the way that we can create questions in the past. It's very simple. Okay. So, don't forget if you have the auxiliary, the verb doesn't need changes. And of course, don't forget the auxiliary, okay? Is it clear, everybody, the way that we can create questions in the past? Yes, teacher. Okay, no questions, everyone? Ready for an exam? Yes? <laughs> oh, my goodness, my goodness. Okay, um, before continue, everyone, I'm going to check attendance. So you know what to do. If you listen to your names, please say present. Um, let's see, Abigail Mejia. Abigail Mejia, no? Okay. Andrea Amalia. Andrea Amalia. Okay. Present. Okay, very good. Atilio Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay. Carlos Alberto. Present. Right. Celia Cristina. Present. Cool. Henry Alberto. I'm here. Good. Jorge Antonio. Present teacher. Good. Um, Jose Ezequiel. Present teacher. Good. Juan Antonio. Present teacher. Good. Juan Jose. Present teacher. Right. Karen Rocio. Present. Good. Carla Sofia. Present. Okay. Carol Elizabeth. Present. Good. Kenya Elizabeth. Present teacher. All right. Lady Xiomara. Present teacher. Good. Luis Miguel. Luis Miguel, no. Nelson Orlando. Present. All right. Um, Sandra Abigail. Present. All right. Stephanie Michel. Present. Good. Jancy Kelita. Present, Miss. Excellent. Um, Jose Marvin. Jose Marvin. Edwin Enrique. Present teacher. Excellent job, very good. Okay, everyone, let's continue then. Always talking in simple past in the information questions. Um, let's see, I'm going to share the presentation again. Do, 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 do. Okay. Can you see what I'm sharing right now? Yes, no? Yes, teacher. Okay, great. Okay, what would you ask them? Imagine everybody that you have in front of you someone very famous, right? What would you ask them? For example, imagine, I know that he's dead, <laughs> but imagine that you can communicate with him okay ask him questions right now we have michael jackson here <laughs> he will answer all your questions but as long as your questions are in simple past you can ask him using information questions with the double h word or just no questions so what questions would you ask go ahead ask him why? Did you know El Salvador? <laughs> okay, Carla, can you repeat? 
Did you know El Salvador? Ah, very good. Did you know El Salvador before you die? I like that. Okay, what else? We did you like mechanic, okay? Uh, can you repeat? We did you like mechanic game? Did you like mechanic games? That's what you mean? Yes. All right. Yes. Very good question. What else? What else? What did you change your skin color? Very good question. Why did you change? And what do you think, everyone? Do you know why did he change his skin color? Uh -huh. Really? He, ¿cómo sería? He ha, had. He had. I don't know what, what's the name of that illness. <laughs> but it's the ones that you lose the color of your skin. Is that the one? Vitiligo. What, what is the name? Vitiligo. <laughs> Vitiligo, vitiligo. Okay, uh, I'm not sure if it has a translation, but vitiligo. So, did he suffer that illness? Really? I didn't know that. Okay, what else? Another question. Okay. Uh -huh. Come on, everybody. It's Michael Jackson. What would you ask him? Me, teacher. Yes, go ahead. Why did you operate your nose? Uh, very good question. Sounds good. Yeah, because it's awful, right? I mean, actually, I consider that Michael Jackson was pretty handsome before every all the changes, right? But with all the changes, he looked, I mean, totally different. Okay, any other question, everyone? How did you spend your money? <laughs> Very good. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. What else? Do you know a question that I would like to ask is, how did you really die? Because some people <laughs> have some different theories about his death. So how mm -hmm. did you really die? <laughs> that could be a question. Uh huh. Do you have any other one before Michael Jackson's leave? <laughs> How much is your fortune? Oh, okay. That's a good question, but change it in simple past. Instead of is, change it into the past. No, this, this, I don't know. Okay, look at it. No, actually your question was good. How much? is your fortune. That's what you said, right? It's good. So instead of saying is, so if we want to say it in past, it what was. is the past? Very good. We just it have was. to say was. How much was your fortune? It was a lot of millions, right? Very good question. Okay, sorry ones, but Michael Jackson has to continue resting in peace. But I have another person. This person is not dead yet. So, but still ask questions about him, but in simple past. You can ask him about a, his childhood or when he was young or everything, but in the past. Do you know him? What's his yes, name? Yes, of course. <laughs> okay, ask him questions in the past. Mm -hmm. No questions for him? So for example, ask about his childhood when he was a kid. What would you like to know?
Uh -huh. Why did you go to Paris? Can you repeat? Why did you go to Paris? Ah, very good. <laughs> because of the money, right? <laughs> I think, but good question. What else? What could be another question for him? What do you What do you have to never uh, play it in Real Madrid? Okay, can you repeat again? What did you never? Uh huh. Play it. Uh -huh. Play it. In, oh, in the Real Madrid, hey, yeah. very good question. Very good. Why did you never play in the Real Madrid? Hmm, very good, very good. What else? Why did you record a song? Why did you record a song? Okay, did he record a song? Yes. Is really? terrible. <laughs> wow, I didn't have idea. No, 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 no. Okay, so no records? I didn't have idea. I'm going to search on Google's after the class. <laughs> yes, visa rap. No. Uh -huh. ah, no. No, it's a parody. <laughs> a parody? A joke? Okay, all right. What else? Another question for him. Don't mess with that, okay? <laughs> <laughs> come on. Hey, everybody. Messi's here in the class. Ask him. Come on. <laughs> what okay, did your did grandpa, you... grandma tell you to encourage, encourage you to play football? Ah, very deep question. I like that. One more question because Messi has to go. So, uh, how much money? Uh, how much money was you earning in the Barcelona? Ah, very good, excellent. Okay, thank you, Messi. Goodbye. Now we got Donald Trump. So be careful with your questions because you have to have a very good pronunciation. He he doesn't like Latin accent. <laughs> so questions for him. Remember, he was a former president of the United States. Why did you lose the president's <laughs> presidential? Uh -huh, very good. What else? Another question. Uh-huh. Ask him, ask him. No more questions for him? No puede deportar. Sin estar ahí. All right. Why did you build? Okay. Why did? Why did you build a big, I don't know how to say, muro? Wall. 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 <laughs> very That's good crazy. that's a good question okay let's ask to Rihanna okay ask her she's ready to answer all your questions where are when you did where? you start to sing okay Henry repeat again where are your umbrellas <laughs> what are your umbrella okay but that is in present i need it in past change it change the verb to be when did you start to sing very good that's a good question what else tony go ahead what did you feel in the half time of the super bowl Okay, very good. What else? Good questions, everyone. What else? And we did, didn't uh, do a duet with Singer Luis Cordera. Okay, sounds good. So just remember, <laughs> Atilio, remember, me le está poniendo el we antes de la question. Ese we is not necessary, okay? 
Very good. Okay, remember that Rihanna is very busy, so she has to leave. Ask him, ask her, sorry, another question before she leaves. Mm -hmm. I thought that the girls will ask a lot of questions, but only the boys are asking. Come on, girls, I want to listen to you. What was your experience as a mother? Ah, very good. I like that. Okay, any, any other question? Why did you don't date with me? <laughs> I like that one. Okay, very funny. Okay, good questions, everyone. Excellent job. If you see, you are talking in simple past now. You are asking questions in past, so very good job. So just remember, if you are using the verb to be, no auxiliary. If you have a different verb, so include the auxiliary. Excellent job, everyone. Now, I don't want you to feel uh, nervous, everyone. I want you to try, okay? I want to everybody tries to participate. That's the idea. If you feel like, no, I, I feel afraid if I make mistakes. No, here in the class is where you can make mistakes because here is where we are learning, okay? Now let's continue practicing. Now it's time to practice listening, okay? In this listening practice, everyone, you will listen to a dictation, different questions, and I just want you to complete each question. Of course, these questions are in simple past, okay? So pay a lot of attention and complete the sentences, okay? Microphones off, everybody, to avoid interferences. If you don't listen to the audio, let me know, please. Notebooks ready, pay attention, here we go. One, where did you go? Two, how long did the flight take? Three, how did she do on the test? Four. Why didn't he call us? Five. Did you complete the assignment? Six. What did you say? Seven. When did she place her order? Eight. Didn't you hear the phone? Nine. Did the kids eat their vegetables? Ten. Who did they hire for the job? Uh -huh, everyone. Do you got the answers or do you want to listen it to one more time? Please one more time. Like okay. Really. No worries. I'm going to play it again. Microphones off. Pay attention. One. Where did you go? Two. How long did the flight take? Three, how did she do on the test? Four, why didn't he call us? Five, did you complete the assignment? Six, what did you say? Seven. When did she place her order? Eight. Didn't you hear the phone? Nine. 
Did the kids eat their vegetables? 10. Who did they hire for the job? Okay, everybody, I want you to try. Everybody has to try it first, please. You ready or one more time? One more time, please. I lose my. Okay, no problem. Okay, everybody, the last time. So pay a lot of attention. And remember, try, try to write the words that you understand. Then we are going to check the answers. Okay, the last time, pay attention. One. Where did you go? Two. How long did the flight take? Three. How did she do on the test? Four. Why didn't he call us? Five. Did you complete the assignment? Six. What did you say? Seven. When did she place her order? Eight. Didn't you hear the phone? Nine. Did the kids eat their vegetables? Ten. Who did they hire for the job? Okay, let's see the sentences. In the number one, where, mm -hmm, what is the rest did of the sentence? Did you go? Where did, did you, you go? go? Yes. Where did, where you, did go? you go? Very good. So if you copy like this, you got a point. Very good job. Let's imagine that this is the exam, okay? 10 sentences, so 10 points. Number two, how long did fly them? Did fly? What fly. else? Did how fly? long did you fly? Did mm. you fly train? Mm, I listen different options. Anything else? Right. Hmm. Okay, look. Right. How long did the flight take? Eight. Okay, so if you copy exactly like this, you got the point. At the contrary, mm, correct your sentences, please. So, number three. How the, did do you, do, did on, you do on the test? On the test. Uh-huh. She, okay, be careful with the subject. Some of you say you, but is she. So if you wrote she, great job. You got a point. Okay, uh, next one, number four. Why did he call us? What did you fight us? Why mm. didn't he call us? Didn't. Ah, look. Why didn't, didn't. he call us? Why yes. didn't he call us? He called so, us. Mm -hmm. in this case, this is a very uh, not, uh, interesting question. <laughs> if you see the question in this case, is a negative question. And this is totally possible in English. It's exactly the same as in Spanish. Because in Spanish we say, ¿Por qué no me llamaste? Right? So we can ask negative questions to, uh, too. If you want to ask a negative question, I mean, super easy. The only things that you need to do is instead of did, didn't. Okay? Now, number five, what is the question here? 
Did you, you complete, complete the assignment? Okay, very good. Look, did you complete the assignment? What is the meaning of assignment? Firmar. Mm, not really. Tarea, asignación. Exactly. So assignment is a synonym of homework. So it's basically the same. So number six. What did you say? Uh, can you repeat? What did you say? What did you see? Say. 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 What, did, what did you say? Ah, good job. What did you say? Very good. All right. Number seven. When did she place her order? Okay. Do you agree, everybody? Yes. Yes. Totally. Excellent job, everybody. Very good, very good. Okay, number eight. Did you hear the phone? Okay, in negative two, right? Didn't you? Didn't you? Didn't you? Didn't you? All right. Good, very good. Didn't you hear the phone? How about the next one, number nine? Did, you, did the kid eat the vegetables? They are vegetables. All right. Do you agree, everybody? Did the kid eat their vegetable, vegetable, vegetable. vegetables? Vegetables. 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 Good job. Did the kids eat their vegetables? Nice. Very good. Very good. And the last one. What was the question? Who is the hiring for the job? Okay. Do you agree everyone or do you have another option? Number 10. Who did they, who did, who did hire for the job? Who did hire for the job? Okay. And what is the subject in the sentence? Who did they hire for the job? All right. Do you agree, everybody? Okay, let's see. Who did they hire for the job? Very good. That is the one. Okay. So, everybody. Imagine that this was the exam. So how did you do on this test? Super good. Mm, so far so good, not so bad, or I need to practice a little bit more. Uh-huh. I need to practice, I understand. verduras. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And the number nine. <laughs> okay. And the rest of you, everybody? Okay, some of you say that need to practice a little bit more, need to practice a little bit more. So remember, I know that listening is, is a little bit difficult, right? So you have internet, everyone. Internet is your best friend. If you want to practice listening, I mean, do it. You just have to put on Google, practice simple past listening or listening exercises in simple past, okay? And actually there is, I don't know if you know uh, this app, um, if you like to listen to music, right? There is an app. Let's say the propaganda, right? But it's because it's, it's pretty funny. I know that reading a book is boring, right? But if you have an app, I think that is easier to practice. So this app is pretty nice because it's like the practice that we just had like a dictation. The name uh, is a 
like a lyrics training. So this is pretty nice because you can listen to a song and it appears here, the lyrics of the song. But there is a moment that there is a space and you have to pay attention in the song. And the app will ask you, complete the space. <laughs> so you have to listen to the song and try to understand what is the word that is missing. So it's pretty nice because you are listening to music, but you are practicing uh, listening at the same time. So I think that practicing listening in that way, it's much better, right? And it's a little bit more fun. So uh, training lyrics is a very nice uh, app. You can also use it on your cell phone or you can use it on the computer, the ones that you prefer. So you can practice listening. It's pretty nice app. Okay, and I mean, of course, play songs uh, like a little bit easier. So it starts with, don't pick like rap music because you know that rap music is difficult to understand. Let's start with easy singers and then you will change and improve and pick difficult ones. Okay, very good. Okay, everyone, the idea is to practice. If you find a, an app that you feel, hey, you know what, everybody, I have this app and that helps me share the apps with your classmates. Because remember that the idea is to everybody learn, to everybody improve, okay? And again, I consider that with apps is <laughs> like a very nice and funny way to learn and practice, okay? Now, we will continue and now we are going to talk about this verb, used to. Have you ever seen this verb before? Yes? Yes, teacher, yes. Very good. What is the meaning of used to? Tolia. Good, very good, very good. So we are going to practice this verb because you already know that this is going to be a full practice. So I want to everybody participate, please. So as your classmate said, used to is for past events. So I want you to travel back in time to your childhood. What is the meaning of childhood? Exactly, when you were kids. Do you remember everyone when you were kids? Ooh. A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. Uh huh. And the rest of you? Do you remember when you were kids? We are kids. <laughs> of course. The spirit is young forever. <laughs> Imagine, were you good kids or were you rebel kids? Sometimes good and sometimes rebel. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. I have some questions about your childhood. For example, do you used to get good grades in the school? Well, here it says high school, but not in high school, in the school. What do you think? Uh huh. Did you used to get good grades in a school, everyone? Yes or no? Some, sometimes, teacher. <laughs> sometimes? Uh-huh. Okay, do you remember in which subject you used to get a good grades in? For example, some people got good grades in a science, or in social studies or in math? In which subjects do you remember that you get like very good grades? Which Physics. Physics, education. Okay, very good. Another one? In my day in math. In math? Science. 
Okay, science. Very good. Química, ¿cómo se dice? In which one? Química, ¿cómo? Chemistry. Chemistry. All right, very good, very good. Remember, if you don't remember the name of the subject, I sent it a, on WhatsApp's group yesterday, so you can check this. Uh huh. What else? In which other subject did you use to get good grades? In the first. Okay, cool. Okay, and the rest of you? Did you just to get good grades or not really? Rebel students, right? Hmm? Okay, look at this. Look at the next question. What used to be um, your favorite game to play when you were a kid? Football. Football, okay. The real football. At the, no, no, at the street. Football. Oh, in that case, it's soccer. So no football. Escondelero. <laughs> <laughs> ah, how, how can hide I say and sick. Yes. Hide and sick. Hide and sick. It's literal Escondelero. like exactly. Hide and sick. What else? Do you see Escondelero? Hide and sick. Hide and sick. Sick mm -hmm. like enfermo? No. Sick, it's, it's, like, it's like this. Hide and sick. Oops. Como esconder y buscar Literal, exactly. Uh, Mika, how you say Mika? Tag. Like this? Tag. Tag, como etiqueta. Uh huh. It's like touch. So I, tag. I tag you. Uh huh. <laughs> Basically good, that. Good, good tag. Right. Yes. <laughs> Uh, it's the same. Uh, Jacks doesn't change. Jack. It's Jack. Okay. Yes. Casos. What? Casos. And what is that? What is that? What is Tassos? What is Tassos? Uh huh. Pokemon Tassos. I think the teacher is more. <laughs> is Tassos. Esta jovencita. <laughs> I mean, not really. No. What happens is that I, I didn't have um, so many. <laughs> My you, child. You know, I, I didn't you, have a childhood. <laughs> you know no. what is Pokemon? Oh, uh, yeah. I, I mean, I know Pokemon. I never no. watched the TV show, but of course, I know Pokemon. Pokemon <laughs> uh, uh, Los Tazos. The, uh -huh. the Tassos is about Pokemon. Uh, it's a circle um, with the, the... Oh, the ones that appears in the snacks? Yes, ah. yes. <laughs> I never understood how people played with that. What did you we do are, with them? We are poor. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, all of us. But <laughs> yeah, okay. Tassos, good. <laughs> how would you... What is the game you you jump in the floor? You draw in un avión, creo que era, que va saltando, iba abriendo las piernas, iba saltando, aventaba una piedra. No me acuerdo qué tiraba, que depende de dónde Pelerina. caía. Pelerina. <laughs> Pelerina, eso. Okay, I, I don't remember how to say that in English. Pelegrina, peregrina es? Yes. Okay. Oh, ese era el avioncito. El avioncito, yeah. El avioncito. <laughs> fly, fly a kite. Okay, okay. What else? La cebollita, teacher. <laughs> ah, <laughs> okay, you can say like take out or pull the onion, pull out the <laughs> onion. Yeah. Pull the onion. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or pull out. Pull out is como sacar. Right. Okay. Uh huh. That's the one. Interesting. Very good. Interesting games. Very Teacher, nice. Yes. Este. Um. And the countryside where I I born. Uh, um. We played uh los cantaritos. No sé cómo se llama. Cantarito. Okay. Yeah. 
In this case, that is like a colloquial name, right? So maybe okay. we cannot translate it, but you can explain what was the game about. So yes, what is that? Yeah, what is that? I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Um, I don't know how to say in English, pero se, es que como nos poníamos como una pose así en la que nos agarraban de un brazo y otro y nos llevaban colgando así como un canto. Oh, yeah. Es que ah, no, te, no teníamos ah, juguetes. Uh -huh. teacher, no teníamos juguetes, teacher. <risa> no había I mean, wifi. Nosotros yeah. éramos de juguete. <risa> yeah. But, but let's yeah. be honest. Guys, we had the best childhood i mean yeah. just see yes. the kids today totally they agree. they don't know all these games they just see cell phones it's very boring we had like the best childhood right i think that we are the last generation with good childhood right so if you ask to a kid hey juguemos mica they don't know what's that cool. right they don't know that. It's pretty sad. Este Trompo y chibolas. Ah, no, imagine. No, if you no, ask, no. hey, do you want to play marbles? They don't know what is that, <laughs> right? So it's pretty sad. So you have to feel lucky that you have a good childhood. If now. You, you see the sky in, in October, you don't find any kite. Exactly. Imagine they don't know that the that you can fly the kite. They don't know how to do it. So it's pretty sad, actually. So everyone, if you have kids, please teach them how to play this game. Don't let them just play on tablets on cell phones. Okay. Teach them the games that you used to play. Okay. Did you used to have a pet when you were kids? Yes. Yes. What kind yes. of pet? I have a paro. <laughs> what was the it's name? A, a Cotorro. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and what happened to Cotorro? Is he still alive? I don't know. I moved out of my house and my brother says the robbery came to the house and se lo llevaron. That's no way, really? Oh, yeah. but Cotorro. it's a huge, 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 huge uh, barrel. It's like a, ¿cómo sería? ¿Cómo se llaman los que hablan? Parrot? Parrot. Loro. 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 Ah, okay. It was the biggest one. Okay. Yeah, biggest, yeah. Okay. Eh, creo que le dicen de barranquillero, son algo así. O sea, de los finos, guys. Huh? No, 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 no. <laughs> but his, my, my, my mom loved that. Aww, that's pretty sad. All right. And the rest of you, everyone, did you used to have a pet? Yes, teacher. I had a, a black corny dog. Oh, my gosh. What was the name? <laughs> um, uh, it was a... Let me see. I don't remember. A beer. <laughs> beer. A okay. Bear. Yes, yes, bear. Is he still alive? No, teacher. Oh, sorry to hear that. I just remember <laughs> one pet more. I have a, a chicken, wild chicken or gallina. Hen? <laughs> hen. Remember hen? that when he's alive, you say hen. When he's the food, you say chicken. Okay. Uh huh. Uh, his name. His name. Uh, quiero ver. Uh, Chepa. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And yeah. and what what happened to Chepa? Did you you know? No. 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 <laughs> no. Uh, uh, in the earthquake in. Uh, ¿Cómo se llama? 2001. 2001. 2001. He stayed with me and she stayed with me and run away uh, 20 seconds before earthquake. It never came back? 
yeah, yeah, yeah. But she, th these animals are so sensitive. <gasps> wow. She alarmed you about the earthquake. Yeah. Like Cotorro. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cotorro Sounds fly interesting. and the, the shepherd run. <laughs> <laughs> interesting. Yeah, actually, that's true. Animals always um, can predict those type of earthquakes. All the, all the pets of uh, Luis Miguel run away from her. From him. <laughs> That's true. Oops. <laughs> okay, anyone else? Do you have a pet? Okay. Yes? Yes. No? What was the name? Zafiro uh, and Tom. Uh, were they dogs or cats or what kind of pet? Mm, I have two cats. Ah, are they still alive? Repeat. Are they still alive? Yes. Wow. They, they, they are. They are? Alive. Okay. All right, so excellent, very good. Okay, the last question. What was your city or country like when you were a child? Let's start with city. So what was your city like when you were a child, everyone? Was it good or better or different? What do you think? Better. It was better, okay. How about El Salvador? What do you think? Think about El Salvador when you were kids or a little bit younger. So, uh huh. We, we thought we thought toughy. Dangerous. Do you think that El Salvador used to be more dangerous than now? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> okay. So what else? Do you think that El Salvador used to be cheaper or more expensive than now? More expensive. More it expensive? Was... No, more cheaper. 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 So El Salvador used to be cheaper yeah actually yeah, yeah right definitely yeah, i think the people was more happy in the christmas you you find pilots anywhere in your uh, neighborhood rest, rest neighborhood yeah uh, right now now the people is so so sad i don't know Actually, that's true, right? I remember that. People used to be like happier and they were dancing. That's true. What happens is that I think that most of people, they went to United States. <laughs> so I think that that is something that affects. I remember I, I saw so many old, old women, so old men dancing. <laughs> but right now... Don't you see me younger, no younger? <laughs> um, exactly. Me, no oldest. That's true. So everybody, you have to do it. You have to make the dancing and in the, in the parties. Try to give energy and happiness to your neighborhood. Okay? Do it. Now, if you see, we are just talking, everybody, about previous event, always past events. And this is the way that we can use this verb, used to. So we use this to talk about things or actions that happened in the past, but that they are not happening in the present anymore, okay? So for example, some of you say, ah, I used to play hide and seek. But today, we don't play hide and seek anymore. Ah, I used to have a parrot. But today, I don't have the parrot anymore. I used to play uh, tassels. 
but today we don't do the action anymore. Okay, so that is the way that we can use this verb. If it is affirmative, you just need this subject, then you need the verb in the past, used to. If you see this verb is ending with the preposition to, that means that the next verb after to will be in infinitive, no more changes. So if you say, for example, ah, I used to went to the park, is this sentence correct? No. No, right? What is the correct one? I used one? to go. To Very good. I used to go. So after two, the verb is in infinitive. The only verb that is in past is the verb used. Okay? Now, look at the next one. If you want to say it in negative, the same. You need the subject and is the same structure that we studied in simple past. You need the auxiliary didn't. And what happens with the verb used to? Look. Is in? Without S. Good. It's in the base form because it's the same rule. If you have auxiliary, the verb doesn't need changes. And the second verb is the same basic form, infinity, because I have the preposition to. So for example, imagine if I say, um, I didn't used to go to the park. Is this sentence correct? I didn't used to go? Not this teacher. Correct. Because no. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, you are using the without this form correct i cannot use the letter d the verb must be in infinitive okay so this is a way that we can use this verb in affirmative and in negative is it clear everybody yes Clear? Yes, teacher. Mm, I hope so, everybody. Okay, if it is clear, let's do a practice. I have here some sentences. So we need to complete the following sentences using used to. Some of these sentences are in affirmative. Some of these sentences are in negatives. Affirmatives and in negatives. So what will be the correct answer? Look at this. Can you see the sentences? Yes. yes. Okay, look at the number one. Imagine that this is something that happened 50 years ago. So not too many people da -da -da, in the cities. Hmm. Complete the sentences using used to. What would be the sentence here? Not too many people used to live in the cities. Very good. Do I need to add the letter D to the verb lived? No. No. Excellent. Without. So not too many people used to live in the cities. Great job. Number two, volunteer. Salaries. Used to. Uh-huh. B. Used to be. Mm -hmm. Very good. Much lower. Much lower. So salaries used to be much lower. Very good. Number three, this one is in negative. So what will be the sentence here? People, People didn't, didn't use to buy. Yeah. Used to buy. Do I need the letter D in use? No, no, no. no. The is present. Good job, excellent. Okay, I will be asking individually. Let me ask two, 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 two. 
uh, uh, to Juan Jose Herrera, can you tell me the number four? Negative. Negative. Um, I don't know, teacher. Okay, if it is in negative, what do I need first? Oh, uh, okay, okay. People didn't used to. Oh, used to, and the verb is get. Do I need the verb in past or in infinitive? In infinitive? Very good, that's correct. So people didn't used to get divorced. Very good, very good. Okay, Jorge Antonio, number five, negative. Uh huh. I cannot listen to you. Okay, Henry, help him. Number five, negative. I tried. People didn't used to eat. Aha, uh -huh. that's it. So much processed food. Proceeded. Proceed. Ahí tan buena que es la comida procesada. <laughs> That's it. I know. The, the I know. head was healthier. <laughs> healthier. Healthier. All right. Healthier. Totally. Totally. No, Let no me see. Red, no, no fat. That's no why. <laughs> no, but you know what, everyone? That's why people used to live longer. Right? I mean, be honest, <laughs> we are not going to live so many years as the previous generations, right? Because their diet was much better and healthier than the diet that we have today, <laughs> right? Yeah, we die at 40. Yeah, maybe 40, 50 years, I think, is the more that we are going to live. So enjoy life, everybody. Live happily. Okay, let's see, Celia, number six, affirmative. People be, no, people used to have. Used to have, ladies? Four children and at a younger age. Good, very good. So everybody, what do you think about this? Is that it's true fault. or is false? False. False, really? Yeah. Look, right now. This... <laughs> used to. No, but it's used to. It's affirmative. So people use ah, yes, yes, yes. to have, more, to children. have more children. And they are younger age, but uh -huh. right now it's still the same. <laughs> we haven't changed. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't changed. That's true. Actually, um, in Latin American countries, <laughs> women have children at a very younger age. That's true. This is still happening. Okay, let's see. Tu -tu 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 -tun. Carla, number seven, please. Negative. People didn't used to uh, so often. Mm, very. Oh. oh. Perdón, used to travel. Uh -huh. So often, or they just didn't travel at all. Very good. Excellent. Very good. Uh, number eight, Carol, please. Uh, people uh, did. Affirmative. Okay. People write. Um, I don't know. Okay, if it is affirmative, remember. People use it to. Aha, uh -huh, very good. People, People use, use it to write. Aha, uh -huh, that's there is because they didn't have computers. That's true. So, this is so sad. <laughs> that's true. So, people used to write letters. Hey, everybody, did you? 
used to write letters or you didn't do that when you were younger? Mm -hmm. Yes. You did? Yes, I did. Ah, very good. You want <laughs> for <laughs> us the girl, you want it? You want to be my girlfriend? Ah, the romantic letters. Oh yeah. my God. We are child. We don't have the uh, <laughs> cell phones. The cell right. phone, yes. We, we didn't have WhatsApp. We didn't have WhatsApp. We <laughs> don't have a responsibility for a job, for example. Maybe Tilos, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But that's good. I think that letters has like it's it was pretty nice, but in our generations, not nah, doesn't exist anymore. Okay, number nine, Carla. No, no, no. Sorry, sorry, Karen. Are you there, Karen? No. Okay, Luis Miguel, number nine, please. Negative. People didn't used to live together before getting married. Aha, uh -huh. everybody, do you agree? No. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? I don't, probably yes, the, the, the people respect the rules, moral rules. I think that but, in the, in the past, right? They used to respect that a little bit more. But right? They, uh, ¿cómo sería? Se casaron. They got married. They got married at younger age. Yeah, that's true. 13 years. <laughs> 10 years. I don't know. That's true. That's true. Okay, number 10. Volunteer for the number 10. Affirmative. Only one, please. Families. Families. Families to used, used, used to be used to be, be uh huh. Used to be close. Closer. And, closer and more connected. Connected. And they are today. Good. Do you agree with that, everyone? Do you think that family used to be closer and more connected than they are today? I think I I remember a meme. Meme. Uh, meme. They share the house or, or the house. ¿Cómo sería la casa del abuelo? A grandparents' house. Grandparents' house. When they pass away, the connection is broken. Mm -hmm. Anybody re renewed? Got it no. together anymore? That's true. That's pretty sad. So, actually, it's true, right? I think that previously, in the previous generations, families were a little bit more connected. I think that the problem is that most of the time we are like very busy. So, maybe that's why we lose the connection. So, everybody, don't lose it. Try to keep in touch with your family. Remember, we are not going to live so many years. <laughs> so we need to, you know, try to spend a lot of time with them. <laughs> so very good, everyone. Now, I have some sentences here. Pay attention in the sentences. Some of these sentences are correct. Some of these sentences are incorrect. So I want you to check the sentences. If you think that the sentences is incorrect, so tell me what is the mistake, okay? So look at the number one. Is this sentence correct? Yes or no? No. Why not? I used. Ah, so look, in this case, the verb used, mm -mm. no, right? What is the correct one? A user? Used, okay. I uh, used to enjoy watching cartoons. Very good, very good. How about the number two? 
Is that correct? No. Why not? Because it's in past, but sometimes we are used uh, use with the letter D. Exactly. So in this case, the letter D is not necessary. Very good. Okay, everybody, number three. Is there a mistake in the number three? No, no. teacher, no. No correct. mistakes is correct? Yes, it's correct. Are you sure? Yes. Yes, yeah, very good. Actually, no mistakes. Very good job. Okay, everybody, what do you think? Number four. Mm, incorrect. Use is incorrect. Why? Esto because have an S instead of D. Very good. So in this case, everybody, I know is third person, right? But we are not talking in simple present. We are talking in simple past. And in simple past, we don't need letter S in third person. Very good. How about the next one? It's okay. Are you sure? Yeah. Everybody, do you agree? Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Very good. Nice job. Uh huh. How about this one? Incorrect. Incorrect. Oh. Why? Oh. You said. Only you. All right. Do I need the letter D? Oh, yes. Yes. Right. In this case, just remember as everything in simple past. If you have the auxiliary, the verb doesn't need changes anymore, okay? So everyone, super good job. This is the way that we can use this verb. Any questions so far? Or is it totally clear? Questions, questions? No questions, are you sure? Yes, teacher. Okay. Well, if you don't have questions, it's time for another listening practice. Okay. Pay attention, everybody. I have here four conversations. Okay. And for each conversation, I have a question. So please pay attention in the conversation and choose the correct answer. Okay. Microphones off, please. Everybody, microphones off, pay attention. You to. Conversation one. Do you play sports? I used to play sports in high school. Yeah, I used to play sports too. Why did you stop? Mm, no time, I guess. Yeah, I used to have so much free time. Me too. I miss those days. Conversation two. Do you speak French? I speak it a little. I used to use it all the time, but not anymore. Really? Why is that? Well, I, I used to work for a French company, and then I changed jobs. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Conversation three. Are you coming to the party? No, I have to work. Work? What happened? You used to never miss a party. True, but I also didn't used to have a stressful job. Yeah? And you used to be poor, but you were fun. Yeah, I used to be fun. Conversation four. Hey, you used to have a Spanish coworker, right? Yeah, Maria, but she moved. Oh, really? That's too bad. Yeah, I really miss working with her. Yeah, I liked her a lot. She used to always make me laugh. I know. We used to have such fun together. Do you have the answers, everyone? Or do you want to listen it again? Again. Again? Perfect. Mute the microphones, everybody. Pay attention. Used to. Conversation one. Do you play sports? I used to play sports in high school. Yeah, I used to play sports too. Why did you stop? Mm, no time, I guess. Yeah, I used to have so much free time. Me too. I miss those days. Conversation two. 
Do you speak French? I speak it a little. I used to use it all the time, but not anymore. Really? Why is that? Well, I used to work for a French company, and then I changed jobs. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Conversation three. Are you coming to the party? No, I have to work. Work? What happened? You used to never miss a party. True, but I also didn't used to have a stressful job. Yeah, and you used to be poor, but you were fun. Yeah, I used to be fun. Conversation four. Hey, you used to have a Spanish coworker, right? Yeah, Maria, but she moved. Oh, really? That's too bad. Yeah, I really miss working with her. Yeah, I liked her a lot. She used to always make me laugh. I know. We used to have such fun together. Uh -huh, everybody, are you ready? Do you have the answers? Yes. Yeah. In yes, the number teacher. one, why did they stop playing sport? Is because no time or no money? No, no time. time. No not time. time. Very good. So, did you play? Uh, did you used to play sports, everyone? Yes. Yeah. And why did you stop? When, uh, I was, um, <laughs> time is the principal problem. No free time anymore? Free time. <laughs> yeah, I think that that's a big problem. Okay. Number two, where did she use French? At work. At work, everybody, do you agree? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Yes, right. She used to work in a company, like was a French company. Nice. Okay, number three. She used to have parties or she used to be fun? Used she to be fun. used to be fun. fun. Used to be fun. Very good, very good. The last one. She used to? Have a friend from Spain. Are you sure? Yeah. Do you agree, everybody? Yes, teacher. Yes. Oops. Yes, actually, that's the correct one. Have a friend from Spain. So, everybody, how was it? What was your score? All of them correct? Three correct? Two correct? All of all, all. All, all, of of them. Them. all of them. Aha, yeah. good job. So you are improving. Very nice, very nice. So remember, listen and practice, everyone. That's something that you have to do every day. So we already practice grammar. We already practice listening. So it's time to talk. Okay, again, I have some questions right here. Always using the verb use to. So, for example, the first question is, what do you used to watch on TV? Think about it when you were kids, okay? So, can you tell me examples of what type of TV shows do, uh, you used to watch? The Flintstones, okay. What else? El Chavo del Ocho. <laughs> All right, a classic one. I used to watch on TV Silverhawks. All right, nice. Padrino Mágico. <laughs> no supersonic. Okay. Now, remember, as your classmates, I need you to give me the full sentence. So, I used to watch da 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 da. da. Okay? Don't tell me just the word of the, uh, the name of the program. Try to give me the full sentence. Now, uh, for example, in this case, in this number three, why, I'm sorry, did you used to get good grades in high school? What is the answer? Yes, I did. Very good, yes, I did. I know that this is a just no question, but you can give me details. You can tell me in which subject 
you used to get good grades. So you can say, yes, I did. I used to get a good grades in science, for example, or in English or math. in math. Okay, very good. So always try to give details. So let's practice these questions, everybody. I want to everybody talk, please. And always follow the structure, give as many details as possible, and don't forget to use correctly the verbs in the past, okay? If you are going to use regular verbs, remember the pronunciation, please. Let's go, I'm sending the questions on WhatsApp groups. Can you see the questions, everyone? Yes? Can you see the questions? Yes, teacher. Excellent. So I know that in this moment, I see some people has like listener, right? So if you were a group where nobody's participating or if you are alone, so tell me and I'm going to switch you to another group. Okay, let's go to work. Solo, solo. Hello. Hello. Hello to you. Hi. Hello. Good evening. Hello, Jorge. Hello, Katy. Do you have the question there? Yes, I have. The first is what did you use to watch on TV? Uh, Jorge. Well, um, the same with uh, Juan Jose. I used to watch TV uh, the Silver Hawks and uh, the Flintstones too. Say the same with the um, execute. And you, Atilio, what did you use to watch on TV? Microphone. Sorry, sorry. And you and uh, you said to watch TV on the scene so um please don't please don't pick up yes yes and chao el ocho only in my case I used to watch Los Pica Piedras 2, um, Chespirito, El Chavo del Ocho, uh, programs like, like that. The question number two is, um, Jorge, what game did you used to play when you were a child? Usually I play soccer. Uh, this uh, is this was my favorite. And you what tell you? Um, you 
usually to play in the afternoon, I play soccer. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Say pronunciation in English. <laughs> okay. And how about you? Um, I used to play jack and football and handball. I I used to play handball very much and basketball only. And Edwin, uh, I I used to play football street. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, I used to play William Ladron. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, only that. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Next question. Did you used to get good grades in high school? Uh, how, do Harry? how how do you mean it's good grade? Yeah. Okay. Well, I understand eh, como buenas calificaciones. Uh -huh. ah, okay, okay. Yes, I, I am a pro promedio. Pro uh, <laughs> I, I was considered the nerd of the nerd. Oh, <laughs> nice. But I don't know nerd. I don't uh, uh grades of eight, seven, eight. It's not is the, there is not nerd. Oh, right. And you Edwin? Uh, only on the sport. <laughs> A plus D first. No, it's the I like I just do good grades on but and and language mm. okay how about you and good and i used to get good trades in march and science, basically, and only, but used to get bad grades in English. <laughs> but <laughs> only, only, only the fun matters. Uh, yes. <laughs> Only English, <laughs> but other uh, science subjects mm -hmm. is fine. Okay, other question. Uh, <laughs> I, yeah. I think uh, only Celia and me, we, we stay in San Miguel. <laughs> Okay. Well, I I used to live in 
in, in Cesori. I was born in Cesori. In a countryside, it called uh, Minitas. But when I when I was uh, twelve years, I had to leave the 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 place uh, because of some problems. Uh, you know, the the adult uh, the adult hut hut, and uh, I live here. Uh, in San Miguel, I been live here in San Miguel, um, around 20, 20 years, and that's all. Okay, okay, thank you. And Carol, what about you? I used to live in Zaragoza. City. Okay. Uh, uh, Merliot City. Okay, okay. Okay, the next question. Ezekiel. Number five. Yes. Where? What activities did you used to do in your previous job? Um, I used to, um, I worked as a deliver and you know, I had to, to llevar, como dice llevar? Carry? Carry. Okay. I had to carry the, the food. Do you have a motorcycle? No, I had a motorcycle. Okay. But, but actually, no. I used to have uh, a motorcycle. Okay, okay I used to. <laughs> okay, thank you, teacher. Okay. Okay, when I used to... Oh, that, oh, go ahead. Oh, tell him <laughs> I used to take a ticket to give a technical support when somebody had problems with uh, their computer. The users uh, put a ticket and I used to take and give a technical support. In my case, I used to technical support, but a computer. Really? But, but the all the time I um sail parts of motorcycle. No, se vende. So, I used to, I used to sell uh, parts of motorcycles, oh. but in my contract, no, <laughs> it's a specific. Then, but. In right now, do you like? I, I, I used to have union boot. No, I love your teeth. I delicious. I used to hate chicken. But I like to eat chicken. Mm. That's all. We finish. Yes. Okay. Interesting answers. Okay, everyone. So tell me, where did you used to live when you were a child? Did you used to live in the same house that you live today? Or it was a different house? In my case, it's the same house. 
Mm, very good. I have um, 38 years to live here. Nice. Very good. All my life. Do you like it? Yes, I like. Nice. But it's very noisy because I live um, near to Troncal del Norte. Oh. And it's very noisy. Yeah, I imagine that. And you, everybody? Where do you used to live? Or do you live in the same place? I live in the same place. And I live here since... Since? Since um, from 1988. Mm, all right. And do you like it? Yeah, I like it. Because Very. when I uh, married and I decide to uh, live here in the same place, no with my mom, mm -hmm. but uh, near. Ah, okay. So basically it's not the same house, but the same neighborhood. Yeah. I'm very good. That's nice. Atilio, how about you? Uh huh. Where do you used to live? Um, um always use live um, in the city of Japan. Okay, is the same place always? Yes. Ah, okay. And do you like it? Yes, yes. Pretty good, very good. Stephanie and Luis, did you participate in it or not? I grow come, born and raised in Soyapango. Ah, okay. I, I moved out to Avenida, early uh, Avenida Bernal, Metropolis. Okay. Uh, right now I have my own house. And do you like to live in that place? Yes. Yeah. Good, It's nice. Excellent. Stephanie? Or is she listener? Oh, yeah, is she listener? Okay, nice, everyone. Thank you for answering the questions. Now we are going to go back to the main room. Okay, let's go back. Yes. Okay. Okay, time's up. Time's up, time's up. We are going to wait for the rest of your classmates. They are still in the breaking rooms. Let's wait for them. Let's go back, everyone. Let's go back. Okay, time's up, time's up. Okay, sorry, but time's up, time's up. I know that the, the conversations and a lot of talkative people, very interesting answers, I liked it. Okay, everybody, what do you think? How did you feel the questions? Easy, 50-50 or difficult? What do you think? 50-50, okay. And the rest of you, everyone, how did you feel the questions? Uh huh. More or less. More or less. Okay. How do you feel talking in simple past, everyone? Do you think that it's a little bit easier right now? A little confused, but I forget you simple past. Ah. But... <laughs> okay, but. You are giving details, everyone. Actually, I can listen to some groups talking and talking a lot. And I know that some groups didn't finish all the questions, right? 
because the time wasn't enough. Okay, super good. I really like the way that you are providing a lot of details. Excellent job. Don't forget the pronunciation of some verbs, okay? Did you listen to Spanish? <laughs> because today I listen to some words in Spanish, everyone. So be careful with uh, the Spanish words. For example, if you are going to talk about a movie, so try to say the name in English. If you're going to talk about a TV show, try to uh, say the name in English, except of course, if the TV show doesn't have a name in English, right? So for example, eh, El Chavo del Ocho, right? That is a Spanish TV show. So that's why the name is in Spanish. But if the TV show has the name in English, so try to say it. Just imagine if you are talking to a person from the United States and you say, ah, yes, I used to watch Los Pica Piedras. Do you think that they will understand what the TV show is? Not really, right? So how can I say that? Look, how can I say Los Pica Piedras? Flintstones. That's the one, the Flintstones. Another TV show that I was listening is this one. In Spanish, what is the name? Supersonicos. Super Los Supersonicos. So we cannot say, ah, the Supersonics. No, it's the Jetsons. Okay? And... <laughs> Very good. And look at this. Another game uh, I was listening to a lot. The, oh. Hopscotch. What is this in Spanish? Regrina. Aha. Uh -huh. So I don't want to listen to Regrina anymore. We had to say hopscotch. Hopscotch. I used to play hopscotch. Okay. So, and little by little, everyone, I know that there are many words that we need to learn. So every time that you find a word that you don't know how to say it, search for it, dictionary or Google it, so you can find it. Sometimes when the word is very colloquial, it's very difficult to find a translation, but you can always try to explain, all right? Now, before continue, I'm just going to check attendance. If you listen to your name, say present, please. Abigail Mejia. Present. Okay. Andrea Amalia. Present. Okay. Atilio Ernesto. Present. Okay. Carlos Alberto. Carlos Alberto. Okay. Celia Present. Okay, thank you. Celia Cristina. Present. Okay, Henry Alberto. I'm here, miss. Okay, Jorge Antonio. Present, teacher. Okay, um, Jorge, Jose Ezequiel. Jose Ezequiel. Present, teacher. All right, Juan Antonio Elias. Okay. Present. Okay. Thank you, Tony. Juan Jose Herrera. Present teacher. Okay. Karen Rocío. Karen Rocío. Okay. Eh, Carla Sofía. Present. Okay. Kenya Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay. Lady Xiomara. Present teacher. Okay. Luis Miguel. Present teacher. Okay. Nelson Orlando. Present. Okay. Sandra Abigail. Sandra Abigail. Okay. Stephanie Michel. Okay. Jan Siquelita. Jose Marvin. And 
and Edwin Enrique. Present teacher. All right, me, excellent. Me, Carol, Miss. Carol Elizabeth, uh, let me check, let me check. Yes, I already checked it. Very good, okay. thank you. Okay, before leaving, Andrea Amalia, please stay. And the rest of you, everybody, don't forget to continue working on the platform. Practice the questions. Maybe tomorrow I can interview you. Okay, so don't forget to memorize the verbs and finish the platform. Remember everyone, there is a last exam on the platform. So please finish it. Um, the idea is that before Friday, you have the platform totally done. Okay, so any questions before leaving? No? Okay. Yeah, Good night, everybody. See you tomorrow. Good night, Only tomorrow. Andrea yes, Amalia tomorrow. se queda, Good night. please. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good, tomorrow. Good night. Bye. Good night. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. La sesión de este día era con Andrea Amalia García. Le pedí que se quedara en clase, pero no se quedó. Así que este día no tendremos una sesión privada con la estudiante y terminaremos aquí.